hey guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time dropping by you're most definitely welcome if it's not your first time dropping by thank you so much for tuning in again what you will need for this tutorial is a mannequin head not my man man mannequin it's really dirty and somebody ate his nose and you will need some glue you also need a wig cap which is yeah you can get any type i like this specific type just because I work better with it so that's why I keep using it in all my videos and you also need a scissors a pair of scissors whatever size whatever you're comfortable with is okay I also got a needle some needles and a thread I got these from Hobby Lobby they're quite expensive so I bet I suggest you go get them from a beauty supply store also this is the hair that I got from Aliexpress from a company that I always get my hair from I will link um, the link in the description box so that you guys can check it out I already bleached my closure if you haven't seen the video on that you should go and see it I'll link, I'll link it down below in the description box so that you can see it the hair also came with this pair of eyelashes which are really cute so I think that's a good thing yeah so as you can see right now, I am just positioning my closure, ready for me to sew it down. I don't glue my closure down just because I don't feel it should be glued down. So I would rather sew it down and glue the bundles. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'll just do this and lay the closure as flat as I can and just sew it down. So I just went all around the closure with my needle and sewed it down as flat as I could and as I tried to use it, the glue I noticed that it was dry on the hole where it's supposed to come out from so that couldn't happen I had to use another initiative some other initiative I just opened it and used it directly using my rattle comb so that's what you see me doing here So you will see me gluing this hair from ear to ear just because I feel it works better that way. I have done this method with all my wigs and all my wigs come out perfect. So if you have another initiative you could use that but I suggest you do this.
so I just continued gluing my bundles all the way up and as you can see right now I have one bundle in and the wig is almost done isn't that just impressing so when I realized I had so much hair left I went back in the big spaces just to fill the map so that the hair can be thick ended up using one and a half bundles and this right here is how much is left from the second bundle that I used So right now I'll just cut this part of the cup that's right underneath the closure just so that the closure could lay flat when I put it on my head on the wig and I decided what length I wanted this wig to be so that's why I'm cutting it right now I'm trying to get a blunt cut as blunt as it can be <laughs> play with the wig until I am satisfied with how it looks and what length it gets to and by the way this wig the bundles were originally 10 inches the closure too so everything was basically 10 inches
so this is what my wig finally looks like after I straightened it and after I cut it if you guys loved how it turned out do not forget to like this video also subscribe and turn on your notifications so you get notified each time I post a new video and I'll see you guys in my next video bye